Right, was Okay, so. Today, okay, left hand out. Nice relax. Okay, just try to chuck his neck. Itch. Knee. Sa. Shi. Go. Look. Shi. Hach. Kup. Jo. Okay, then from here, just like pull, pull, punch. Itch. Pull. Knee. So a little bit kind of gakuzuki feeling, yeah? So you're kind of going from hand knee to shoulder. Sa. Shi. Now go, look, shish, hatch, come, now go. Okay, then last one, rotate. Just like, because I was doing it. Knee, sam, shi, go, look, shish, hatch, come, go. Good. Hey guys, kind of be in your stance, yeah? Don't be kind of, especially when you that, that last one were kind of rotating into hand knee. Don't, don't spin so much that you start to kind of lose integrity of your stance. A little bit kind of in your stance rather than on your stance. So a little bit knees bend in a thigh muscle connection. And so even that last one where you're having that rotation, that back, that next leg is ready primed to rotate again. Understand? Close, close. Okay, one more time. Normal chakazuki. Okay, itch. Knee. Sam. Sheep. Go. Look. Chitch. Hunch. Kup. Joy. Okay, good. Next one, just pull punch back to shoulder. Itch. And knee. Stand. Shi. Go. Look. Chitch. Hunch. Kup. Joy. Okay, last one. A little bit sinking into your stance. Rotate. Itch. And knee. Stand. Chi. Go. Look. Chitch. Hunch, kup, jo. Then Sam, keep your back straight, yeah? A little bit kind of punch over with your shoulders. Back straight, chest, chest up, yeah? Or head up, chest open. Okay, so guys, all this is doing is kind of trying to teach us a little bit of connection, a little bit kind of like fluidity in your movement, yeah? So we're not kind of uh, disconnected when we throw, throw these techniques out. Okay, so left hand out. Okay, so from here, just kagazuki, hug punch, itch, hug punch. And knee round. Sa, shi, go, look, shich, hatch, kum, jo. Okay, good, yeah, mate. Then, guys, all we do is just practice this kagasuki, hot punch a little bit. Then, I want you to kind of like, you know, we've, we've just done kind of three different ways to do chakazuki. Try those different ways. So, you can you can start from shomadach and a little bit of hip vibration, kind of vibration, I use that word loosely, vibration, shoulder to shoulder. Second one, maybe a little bit pull, then back to shoulder. Pull, back to shoulder. Then third one, just round. Just round, yeah? Okay, couple of minutes, give it a go. See which one feels the best. Okay, go for it, guys. Get your camera on, man. It's not working at the moment, is it? Okay. So you had to choose that photo, did you? To irritate me with. Okay. Let's try to take it off. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, man. Good. Okay. So, guys, like, I, well, probably, probably this, this kind of full rotation feels a little bit Best, best out of all of them. Like, like certainly this kind of classic where we're, we're kind of squaring up at the end, classic Chokazuki, kind of fitting that into kind of uh, Kagazuki. It's kind of good for timing, kind of good for that connection, but like not much else. Yeah, it's a good practicing training drill. Yeah, this pulling, pulling and coming back to square on. Yeah, it's okay, a little bit better. But certainly just this, this rotation round, rotation round is, uh, is probably the best way to go. Everybody feel that? Yes, no? Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so I want you to kind of work on that a little bit. And then, so instead of being so, so kind of like formulaic and finishing in that form, finishing that form, just have a sense of, of body rotate, body rotate. So you're just kind of in a classic kind of hook punch coming around. If you kind of 
to go back a little bit, you can see my feet. You can also facilitate that with your stance, with your stance, kind of coming round, coming round, kind of this, this Kagazuki morphing into Mawashuki. Understand? Try it, give it a go, guys. And keep your back straight though, yeah? Then Linda, don't, don't rotate where you are, rotate in. So your body is shifting, body is shifting with your punch, yeah? Use your stance to facilitate body movement rather than just a rotation. Then Susan, make sure you're coming round like this if you watch from the side, you're kind of hooking it round. You're not, you're not going straight to the end point. The course is the most important point. Not the finish point, but in this case the course, your course. To the point where there is no, when you get to a point there will be no finishing point. Yeah, that nice Peter, that's it. Good. Then, uh, Nina, don't feel like you're going too far. Don't go too far past your, your centre line, yeah? You, you can, your body will rotate, but your hand doesn't want to kind of go too far, yeah? Good, good. Okay, okay. Everybody understand? Everybody get it? Yep. Thumbs up, yep. Okay, the, like, the one thing I'd say is that like still too formulaic, right? So, so people are still kind of holding their form, holding the form. Some people are just going direct to that form and not really worrying about the course. Whereas really the course, the course that you're taking is really super important. And the end product, the, the kind of form at the end in, with these circular motions is probably the, the least important element of it, yeah? So what you're trying to do, just like the Chokazuki where you're kind of challenging different ways of connecting your, your body mass to your punching hand, whether it be kind of this vibration or this slingshot or simply this rotation, you're kind of connecting in different ways, right? Different timings with your body. Well, so this is an exercise in connection as well. It's not an exercise about kind of just putting your hand in that position. It's about kind of getting that body rotation and then sticking a weapon uh, onto that. Understand? Okay, so I want you to kind of go, yeah, uh, Suzanne, you want a question? Yeah, if it's a good time. Yeah, yeah, go for it, yeah. Uh, is the elbow doesn't have to be near the body? Well, um, I mean, the, the, as far as your elbow can go out from your body, I mean, obviously that's uh, like limited, uh, then yeah, you want to kind of maintain that form. You don't, what you don't want is, is misalignment of your elbow. That's the most important thing. How, how kind of far and close to your body is, is, is a function, and also the angle of this arm is then the difference between Kagazuki and Mawashizuki. So this hook punch and then this roundhouse punch uh, is, is kind of just a different in your angle of your, of your, your elbow and maybe shoulder, and therefore like the, the distance that this technique is effective. So of course, Kagazuki is quite short range, whereas Mawashizuki is a little bit longer range. But, but really, the alignment of your fist and the elbow is the important element. You don't, want to, you don't want to be kind of going around this way, going this direction, but your elbow being up, or inversely, this direction, your elbow being below. You can come over and down, that's okay, if the, if the elbow and fist is in the direction of force, or this way, or even uppercut this way, or orozuki this way, that's okay, but, but how far your elbow is from your body is not important. Understand? Okay, okay, good. Okay, guys, just try, just try to have that smooth, kind of, that, that kind of connection of Kagazuki, but smooth for him, smooth for him. Give it a go. You got any questions, just ask. Elizabeth, don't, don't feel like you're having to make kime, not stopping, yeah? Just smoothly through, smoothly through, smoothly through, not stop. Okay, good. Okay, everybody okay? Everybody understand? 
Sylvia, a little bit too much uh, Zenkutsudak stance, yeah? Don't, don't feel like, just a little bit more natural. Everybody a little bit more natural in your stance now, yeah? Don't feel like you're making Zenkutsu. Okay, so, so some people are saying you're, you're punching and stopping. And punching and stopping, and kind of always kind of in that classic karate reset. Reset to back to Kamai film, yeah? So, I want you to try short range, long range. So you're going Kagazuki feeling, Mawashizuki. Or you can go the other way, Kagazuki, Mawashizuki. So short, long feeling, yeah? Short, long, and then this short, short is that classic Kagazuki shape, where hands quite close to your body, elbows quite close to your body. Then kind of dial that into your stance, then come round long, long feeling, yeah? So short, long or short, long, that fit, yeah? And make the about that rotation, that rotation, one, two, fit. Understand? Try to maintain connection right the way through, that's what we're working on, yeah? Then Sam, make sure, remember, you keep that, the, the direction, the direction of your hand, or the direction of your force is your fist and your elbow in line. Don't have this direction, but have misalignment with your elbow. Okay, because then you'll buckle. Yeah? So go and hit your dad in the stomach, you'll soon tell if it works not. The neck a little bit too disconnected on that Mawashizuki. So that's the difference, yeah? Okay, yame, yame, this is the important point, guys. You're like, what's the difference between, between kind of like, kind of street bra brawler who's kind of throwing these kind of haymaker punches and someone who knows what they're doing? Well, it's, well, it's just connection. Because for sure, like an untrained person instinctively know how to kind of create power. Like, you know, like they do this all the time. They, they kind of rotate their body, they stick their body mass in and they swing their arm. That's a really good way to create power. The problem is, is that they lack connection. Uh, they last lack connection, so sometimes you'll, you'll punch and they'll break their wrist or they'll have lack, lack of, of, um, of kind of connection with their fist, so they'll break the bones in their hand. Uh, or they'll mistime it, so the timing is bad. Or they'll stumble, they don't have kind of control of the center. So these are all kind of things that we train. But in essence, that kind of swinging of your body and, and swinging of your hand is a great way to create power. Add karate to it, and the karate is making sure that you're not losing connection with that swinging arm that you're still being able to engage your lat, it's not your lat, your pecs, in order to kind of connect to that punch to your body mass, rather than it being disconnected in some way. You're not losing balance. You're, you're storing up your power for the next technique afterwards. So, so you can create those two techniques quite quickly, yeah? So put karate into a natural movement and make it fluid. Okay? Okay, last minute guys, then we're moving on. If you've got any questions, just ask. Then make sure, guys, that you're, you, you're punching to a kind of target. You're not punching someone on your left, then punching someone on your right. Make sure that optimum kind of connection point is right in front of you. Brian, too stiff. Relax, relax, man. Okay, good. Everyone understand? Any questions? If so, ask now. Everyone's good? Okay, okay, so well, like we, we kind of went from Kagazuki to Mawashiki. Okay, that same feeling, Mawashiki, just practice Haito. So, kind of coming round, make sure, of course, you're getting that, that thumb in. So, you're doing it correctly, thumb in, and, and you're kind of, kind of attacking with that uh, in, in, in a part of your hand. But just Haito, don't, don't swing it, don't have that disconnect. Make sure that you're connecting. You don't want it to be too long and wide, nor, of course, do you want it to be straight. So, kind of that Mawashizuki feeling. But haito, haito. Just nice and relaxed, nice and relaxed. Okay, give it a go, guys. Again, try not to put kime into it, yeah? Much better to have kind of connection and smooth movement rather than kind of some artificial stopping of it to make kime.
Use your feet, Sam, yeah? So you're rotating on the balls of your feet, rotating your hips, body's moving, everything, yeah? Sensei? Yeah. Um, you're saying, like, no Kimmy, but do we still make a hip play or anything? Or no. Do you just, uh, no, no, just, just get the feeling. Just get the feeling for it. Feeling, that's all. Yeah? Was, yeah. Vivian, I can hardly see you. You're, you're in the dark. Okay, good, good. So, try, try to, like, right going through, yeah, you just maintain your connection, maintain your connection. You kind of train fluidity, kind of fluidity with the rotation of your body, but maintaining connection so your arms don't kind of come, come loose, yeah? Okay, so, so next one, like, all you're doing is, is this stall feeling, shoot out the height of, shoot out, shoot out the height of feeling. So you're coming round, opening it with your hip, so we're not doing that kind of classic opposition, although that's fine, but especially if you're stepping in, but we're kind of coming with it this time. With it to with it feeling. So uh, your, your outside shuto, normal shuto, shuto to haito, relax. Shuto to haito, relax. Bam, bam, feeling. Understand? Try, give that a go. What's up, Justina? I'm just trying to watch Ross. You're trying to do what? Watch Ross and say oh, You're trying to watch Ross? <laughs> Stor. Haito. Stor. Haito. Relax. Shuto. Haito. Relax. Bam, bam. Finish. Okay. Then uh, Tara Lee, don't make don't make form at this point, yeah? You're kind of like one, two, and you're kind of making hikite and stopping. No, I want you to kind of really hardwire into your body that kind of relaxed motion. That you're not thinking about form. You're just putting all your power into it and then relaxing afterwards, yeah? You too, Matthew, you're kind of a little bit, no need to make hikite. And not straight, no technique is straight, yeah? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm here, I'm relaxed. Okay, guys, I just wanted to do that to kind of like warm you up and try to kind of get, like, like I said, hardwire that into your body of that relaxed fluidity and kind of circular motion. And there's loads of things that we, we do in karate that are circular. I mean, like, like you know, there's whole katas that are kind of basically circular. Uh, but but we, we often, you know, through well, a number of things, firstly, this sense of kime and the need to make kime. Uh, also, like this making karate very superficial, as in we're trying to demonstrate it to an examiner or a, a referee, uh, you know, judge on a, a kata competition. Like, that's the worst thing to kind of, to take away the circular nature of karate, yeah? Because we, we externalize it and just try to make it sharp so that they can see how powerful and fast we are. And the only way that you can do that is by seeing how fast you stop from a fast movement, yeah? So like, you know, like, like a circular action doesn't look particularly fast, but like this straight punch and stop kind of looks fast. It makes the snap of the dogi, blah, 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 yeah? So we got to kind of fight against that a little bit. Understand? Yeah, okay, so, so let's just, um, I want you to kind of just take this, this sequence in Niju Shiho. Uh, Ross did Niju Shiho last week. Uh, I did it on a bit of it on Thursday, was it? Something. Okay, so, so we'll just take, gonna take this sequence. Let me show you what we're gonna do. Uh, I'll show you from this angle. So we're just gonna go from this uh, Gakuzuki after the second Kakomi, and we're gonna come round and in. And then this Haiko Nukite round punch. That, that sequence there, yeah? So let's just do it together, yeah? So from here, make your match. 
left hand punch. So we're gonna block. This is this is Osayuke or you know Teikubi. Uh, what is it? Teikubi Waki or Toshiyuke. Okay, so uh, from here just just round round as you do. Hip facilitates it. You're gonna pull your leg in a little bit, and then this coming over. Try it. Okay, then connect this leg and this elbow to kind of send that height around as if as if it's like Moshiuke, Moshizuki. This round knee. Okay, the next one is direct, of course, Nukite. So it does come through Hikite. Hikite direct Nukite San. Pull back in order to scoop with your right hand and drive in. And then Hikite and then double punch. Okay, that's it. Understand? Okay, I'm going to show a few more times because I'm aware that most of you know Nijushiho, but some of you don't. So let me just kind of go through each part kind of individually. Yeah? So the first one, guys, you are suppressing this block. This is your wrist wrapping suppressing block. So this round, round. As you do, rotate your hip. It allows you to kind of pull your hip, your hand, uh, your foot in. A little bit like Kian Nidan, you know, when you're doing Gakazuke, you're making kind of uh, Gakuhami uh, Uchuke. It's the same sort of thing, yeah? Where you, you're okay pulling that leg in a little bit. But here more so because you're in Kibrach. So a little bit pull and round, wrap it round, then kind of driving in to this position. The same as uh, Yamazuki, just hands open. Okay, next one, round high top. This one's grabbing, same time round high top. This palm is pushing 90 degrees away to you, yeah? To your, your palm is facing the right. Next one, direct. Not up, but direct. With your stance, direct in the nipote. Then you can pull this right hand back. This hand is going to scoop. As you do, rotating with your hips in Sezenko Sach. Double hikite, then dropping into foot of that double punch. Understand? Absolutely. Okay, try that guys a couple of times. If you've got any questions, just ask. Uh, Ross Rue, just come do it here, will you? A couple of times, so if people. If you get lost, you can watch Ross and Rue. Then, Maxime, that back hand, back hand, when you've done that high toe, you've done that high toe, this other hand comes this way, yeah? Kind of quite, it's, it's, it's kind of imagining that you've grabbed someone and pulled them down as you protect them around high toe. So, although your hand is flat, it's pointing, so I've got my left leg forward, it's pointing directly 90 degrees to my right. Yeah, yeah, that feeling, yeah. What's that thing? Yeah. You change your uh, stance as well, from Senku Sudach to uh, Fudach. Fudach, yeah. So, so from this point, so you're, you're pulling back, scooping. You're also not stepping straight back. You're stepping kind of slightly offline. Slightly offline, scooping and, and attacking, yeah? And you're in Senku Sudach. Then from here, double hit, then drop down further to make Fudach. So your, masses, your body mass is going down into the punch. How much are you looking down for each of those two moves? Since um, not much, yeah. Your control, control feeling. Like you're looking, look, you're not looking down here. Like no. imagine that you're looking kind of slightly in forward. At their head. Yeah. Okay. Open, open, after rotate, and that's like not really necessary. No, that's like you're coming back and you're Shazam feeling, yeah. and then you're to kind of shit. It's, a, it's like the hips not going to help because the hips, hips in this yeah. kind of you know horizontal, horizontal, yeah, and you just want to drop your mask down. Yeah? Good, 
just say another yes. question regarding the Puy Dutch. Say again? It's actually weird that you're leaning forward in the Puy Dutch, but that's not the correct way. It's just Puy Dutch, but you're, you're, not, you're not doing like this. Yeah, you, you shouldn't have to lean so much, nor, nor are you going to kind of keep upright, yeah? So don't keep upright so much. Like, you've got to facilitate that, but, but like, if you're, you know, you're, you're in Zegstach, and you've made this, this block, and you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna drop your weight, and the way that you do that is by sticking your knee out, and then you can drop your weight a whole lot more, right, into Fududach. So that's enough. And that's enough, but you, and, and like, because it's two-handed, it's a little bit like Yamazuki, right? Yamazuki's a little bit leaning in, but it's not leaning in. It's just kind of connected and, and letting your body mass go in. Well, this is the same. This way. So you're not leaning, but you are allowing your body mass to go into that punch, especially the left hand. Okay? Yeah, Suzanne? Yep. Yeah. Uh, before the, the clap with the two hands, yeah. you bring your hands near your waist. No, no, so so from Can you here. Do that again? Yeah, so from the, here. The movement before. Left hand comes. Uh, sorry, left, left right hand comes back. Left hand is going to scoop. Right hand is going to drive in. That's what all. The uh, movement. Oh, before. this one. Yeah, this one make hickey tape. No, no. Sorry. The. Uh, Which one? When you're like that. Yeah. That. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, so, so from here, yes, your hand goes through your center, but it doesn't stop. Like if I was doing a speed and power, boom, direct. I wouldn't stop at that point. But at the same time, what you don't want to do is this kind of flappy thing. This is nukite, so it has to be straight. Okay? Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, mate, guys. So, like, the reason why well, I'm going to choose a couple of these, but the reason why I choose this is because because a lot of people in Nichu Shiho they do like okay, they they straighten they straighten the the circular motion techniques and they they make the straight technique sometimes circular. So I'll show you from this. Like I see an awful lot of people who who kind of push straight. This kind of just comes up straight when this is a much more circular action, circular action, right? Um, and so, so like this one, you've you got to make sure that you're coming round and over. Also, this next one, you'll see an awful lot of people who are going straight, and this almost turns into kind of a nukite feeling. So from, from this way, rather than coming round, they will go direct, because it has that kind of superficial kime to it. So I really want you to make sure that you're coming round with this one. That is kind of like a Mawashizuki feeling. Uh, well, Haito feeling, that's, that's all it is. Then, then next one, a lot of people kind of swing this up. Because it's a kiai, because they want that slapping sound, they will do this. When actually, this is grabbing and just attacking. So this must be straight. So if you're doing this, you know that you're kind of doing it too circular. Try to make well, no sound. You're kiaiing anyway, what difference does sound make? You want to sound? Okay. Okay, last 30 seconds, then we're going to move on. Okay, can I just ask a question? Sure. Um, for the, going direct with that. Um, yeah. So when you come around, um, you come around. Do you want to, to be able to go, instead of having to kind of go up and Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't want you, you don't want it to be you don't want it to be so low that, that it's awkward. Like this is yeah. this is kind of making the so if Ross if Ross kind of uh, attacks and I'm blocking and I'm striking this way. So this is this is representative of me pulling it like blocking in this manner. If you put, put, blocking in this scammy UK feeling and then attacking high top and then from here on you're going to go straight into it, of course. So this, all this is doing is representing that I've got hold of him as I, as I block him, and this is the form that we make. If it's so low, then, then it's awkward. So a little bit behind you, and then just elbow bend. Elbow bend, okay. and then from this point, boom, you're going directly in. Gotta break the habit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a kind of really hor like a horrible superficial habit, yeah? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sensei. Okay. Susan. 
Yeah, can I can you show again the difference between the uh, the straight movement and the circular movement? Yeah, so so a lot of people will, will they'll block and they'll get their form and then they'll just push out into this straight way. When when this this is circular, this is circular and, and as it is circular this is coming over the top, a bit like a bit like Yamazuki. You know, I mean like this is not particularly circular, but it's not straight by any stretch of the imagination, right? So this is the circular one. This is the, the Teikubi Makyotoshi Uke. So this the, this round suppressing wrapping block. And then this is the strike. Understand? Okay. Okay, this is teikubi. This means wrist. Okay, this is teikubi. Te is hand. Kubi is like neck. So the neck of your hand is your wrist, right? Teikubi. Okay, then we have this is uh, this is waki. Oh, maki. Sorry, maki. Maki. This is to wrap, like so to. This is to wrap, wrap around. Okay. Uh, okay. This is. This is otoshi. Otoshi is to suppress. Okay. Otoshi is to suppress. Okay, and then last one is is uke, uke is okay, uke. Okay, so this is a verb. This is a verb, and this is a verb. You can tell because like this, the ending here, ki toshi k. This is the ending of verbs, right? So this is a doing thing, this is a doing thing, and this is a doing thing. This is a noun. This just means your wrist. So your wrist, your wrist is wrapping and suppressing and block and receiving. Wrapping, suppressing, receiving. That's what we're doing. But like, you know, you've got three verbs and one noun. So it's all about what this is doing. Okay. Sorry, my cameraman's sacked. No, he's not. He's doing a good job. So my, my point is, is that, is that, is that like, this is all about kind of this, what this is doing. And like, if you're, if you're wrapping your wrist around something, if you're suppressing something, if you're receiving something, there's a whole host of ways that you can do that. Do, do you understand? Yeah. And, and so like, just to kind of call it, to call it kind of, you know, of course, it's called Teikubi Maki Otoshi Uke. That's a very superficial name. It becomes a thing then. But if you say that it's your wrist that is wrapping and suppressing and receiving, it's a very dynamic thing. And I want you to kind of feel dynamic about it as you do it. Do you understand? Yeah? Okay. So, we're going to just kind of, well, let's stick with this a little bit. Okay, everybody just uh, double punch. Double punch. Okay, so we did, we did this uh, again last weekend. But I want you to... Kind of think about your wrist, your wrist wrapping, wrapping, suppressing, and receiving as this hand comes round. So your wrist is wrapping, suppressing, and receiving as you come round to this point. Yeah? So, like I, I talked about this, we won't spend ages on this, but this comes round over at 12 o'clock the other hand starts to play and you move in at no point are you thinking about forwardness because your body is, is going forward yeah your body is going forward but like i mean eventually like eventually this is teisho awase ski which means that it's it's going from a teisho into a thrust but the thrust is much more about your body thrusting in rather than your hand thrusting in I mean, it's not a punch in that classic sense so but it's kind of a thrust, right? So, so wrap, 
suppress, receive as you go forward. Wrap, repress, receive. You understand? Okay. This is the final. So this is so. I mean, they both have the same feeling. If you talk about kind of, you just talk about feeling rather than a kind of generic name or or about about kind of like just kind of what it's written in a book or something like that. They both have the same feeling. Yeah. This this kind of wrap, suppress, receive has the same feeling as this wrap, suppress, receive. Just different stance. I mean, your stance is projecting your mass, projecting your weight, so you're just using a different stance. And the stance will then have the effect of, the, it will change the form. But the, the fundamentals are, are identical. Okay? Okay, try guys, give it a go. A couple of minutes. Okay. Hmm. That step at the end of the leadership box, do you want to uh, start that uh, start class, finish slowly, with the same as the hands? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, uh, so, your, your hands are, are moving first, or this hand is moving first, right? So, you, you know, you're, you're, this is moving first, but then, yeah, you're, you're slowly engaging with your stance. But because your hand is moving first, to initiate, to get this block, and then as soon as you've got hold of that wrapping, suppressing thing, then you're moving into it, and then you're going to move in, uh, and then eventually just finish slowly as you control. Uh, but, yeah, your stance does move fast, but finish slow. But not as fast and as much as you have. And it doesn't have to be that kind of No. It makes sense. And also control the, of the third limb. You know, so you're controlling one limb, you're attacking the other limb, and you're attacking the third limb. Yeah? Always half the three, three limbs. So you can, but you, it's not over. Yeah, but it's sanctioned that. So there should be a sense of coming in, but you don't want to artificially do it. Yeah. Okay, Sylvia, got your message. Any questions, guys? So the last part is a, this, it's a straight movement. No, so, so okay, so we're doing, we're doing the end of Niji Shiho, right? So we're doing like the middle and the end, it's kind of like the similar, right? Uh, but like both are round. Okay, so, so look, this, this middle part after the Kakomi, where you're wrapping, suppressing, receiving, and then this hand comes round. Okay, you have that feeling to it. Okay, this is the same, this last part where you're one, two, then you're gonna step forward, but you don't want to do straight movement. You don't want to kind of do this one, two. You're not receiving anything, you're not suppressing anything. You've just kind of blocked and then attacked. You want to, you want to, Receive, and this hand is coming round, round, this feeling, not straight in. Don't feel like it's this way. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Just, just watch. Yeah. So, if um, okay. So if Ross was punching me, then I'd block and strike. Yeah. So I'd have this feeling of of wrapping, suppressing, moving in and attacking this way. So, so this this is circular in nature. This attacking hand is circular in nature, uh, and my body is moving forward. So at some point, that circle will be push forward and eventually hit something, yeah? So I have this kind of suppressing attacking feeling. You understand? Push. Also, if, uh, also, like, you, 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 this, this can become a, an attack as well, of course. This can become an attack, okay? Or, if it was this, if it was the other hand, then it'd become a control as I'm attacking. So you, you know, it depends what hand, if it's one hand, if it's one hand I'm controlling as I'm attacking, if it's the other hand I'm attacking, attacking. So it depends what you're doing. So they have, they have lots of meaning. 
And so that's why it's kind of really, really important that you don't kind of become set in, in okay, this is this. It's not. There's three verbs involved, and you can, uh, you can put, put a little bit of emphasis on one verb, a little bit of emphasis on another verb, but ultimately it's your wrist that's kind of wrapping, suppressing, receiving, whilst the other one attacks. You understand? Okay. Okay, guys, we're gonna run out of time. Okay, so so from here, like, like trying to have that kind of circular kind of movement. Okay, let's just um, I just want to work on that last part of unsu as well. So everybody, everybody, just hands forward. Imagine you've just you've just landed after the jump. I won't make you do the jump. Okay, you're gonna block with your right hand, and then you're gonna use your wrist to wrap. Suppress, receive as the other hand comes round to strike. Okay? So one more time. So so I'll show you from this angle, hopefully. Okay, so your right hand is blocking. Okay, your left hand is gonna wrap, suppress, receive, and as this one comes round again, round again to strike. Okay, then we're going to do the opposite side. So left hand is blocking. Then right hand is going to wrap, suppress, receive, and strike. You understand? So this is a double hand action. This is, this is the same verbs, the same part of your limb, but different. It's different because you're using two hands now. So, so before, before if right hand attack, I'm blocking and striking. Now if left hand attack, I'm blocking and suppressing before I strike. So my blocking hand, my blocking hand blocks and come round and I strike. Block, come round and strike. But this hand is still there, so I'm blocking, I'm taking control and striking. Again, suppressing, keeping, maybe even attacking, doing something. But it has the same name, same words, but three different verbs, three same verbs that are kind of different interplay with each other. Do you understand? Also, one is one, is one hand, Block, whereas this one is two hands block before striking. Okay? Okay, so try that one, guys. Try. So try right hand block, left hand suppress, whilst your right hand comes back around to strike. And then the opposite, left hand block, whereas your right hand comes around to suppress and the left hand comes around to strike again. Try. And again, circular in nature. Don't thrust. Then and try not to project at the end. Try not to do all that kind of round and at the end push. No, your body is the one that's shifting forward. This is coming round. Just like you wouldn't do mawashi zuki and then at the end push straight. It would be mawashi zuki right the way around and if you're too far away, then you move your body in. You don't straighten your hand. Then you two, Oscar, too much this pulling, stepping, striking. No, you would never do this, yeah? You would never, you would never step, make hikite, and then punch. But in essence, that's what you're doing. You're moving in, you're moving in to strike, moving in to strike, yeah? Okay, yame, yame. Okay, like guys, we're going to run out of time. Just one last thing, right? I, like, if abo above all else, you, you think about how you can use your wrist to wrap, suppress, receive. Your wrist is wrapping, wrapping, suppressing, receiving. Wrap, suppress, receive, strike. One, two feeling. You understand? Like that, that kind of general, general thing that you can do with your wrist, like is, is part of Shotokan. It's very circular. There's no Kimei point.
But as long as you, like if you just, if you just understand it as a superficial Teikubi Makyotoshi Uke, then that becomes a thing. It becomes a set thing. But if you understand it as a, a wrapping, suppressing, receiving uh, movement with your wrist, then it becomes lots of possibilities. So, so from here, the, in uh, Niju Shiho, this is, a, is the same feeling as in Niju Shiho. This is the same feeling as this. But obviously, there are three different techniques. There are three very different techniques. Do you understand? Yeah? Just like, just like Chokazuki is very similar to Kizamazuki is very similar to Gakazuki, is very similar to Kagazuki. In fact, you could argue that they're the same technique, just a different, different kind of, um, different kind of uh, distances. But we give them all these different names to express that. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. Last, last couple of minutes, guys. If you've got any questions to ask, but I want you to try to practice those three. Those three from, the two from Niju Shio and one from Unsu. Try. If you've got any questions, just ask. Uh, Martin, you wrong hand then, yeah? When you're doing this step in that way, your right hand ends on the bottom. Remember, this is the wrapping, suppressing, receiving hand. Your left hand is the strike. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. Can you show the Unsu one again? Yeah, sure. So, Unsu. So, you've landed. Pong, you've landed, right? You're going to step up. Your right hand blocks. And then you'll, so like this is a double tap, yeah? Your right hand blocks, your left hand then wraps, suppresses, receives, as your right hand simultaneously kind of comes round. As this one's going down, this one's coming round, up in a circular motion. And then as you land on your stance, you're striking, controlling. And then the opposite, left hand blocks. So again, you kind of mirror, yeah? So as your left hand comes up, your right hand goes down in that circular action. Your left hand blocks. Your right hand wraps, suppresses, and right, left hand comes around, receives as you step into a tap. So you have this one, two, three feeling, one, two, three feeling, which is very different from this one, two feeling of Niju Shiho. Okay? Okay, good guys. Okay, last couple of minutes. So, everybody make a kibirach. Kibirach and punch Gakazuki. Okay, one nice relaxed count. Think. Wrist is wrapping, suppressing, receiving. Okay, each. And come back. Okay, knee. And back. Remember, your body is moving forward. Your hand is, your hand is kind of finished at this point and your body is moving in to create that strike, yeah? Ta! Don't push me, but don't push with your hands. Drive with your body. Chi! And last one, last one. Go! Okay, good. Okay, everybody, Sanchi Dutch. Right hand above, left hand below. Okay, so, ra, one-handed block. One hand and block, left, right, left hand come round, strike, itch, and back. Okay, knee, and back. Sa, and back. Shi, and back. Go, and back, last one. Rock. Okay, good. Okay, bring right leg forward. Okay, imagine your hands are touching the ground. Okay, so it's your right hand block, right hand block. Left hand, wrap, suppress, receive and strike. Then change, left hand block. Right hand, wrap, receive, suppress, receive. And back, okay, and back. Hands down, okay. Right hand, left hand, right hand, strike. Then left hand, right hand and strike. 
Okay, couple more. Each knee. Okay, last one. Okay, sun. She. And yummy. And relax. Okay? You understand? So, guys, three different techniques. They should feel quite different. But in a very similar, in a very strange way, that they're, they're identical. It's a bit like me and my, my brother. Me and my brother are identical. Okay? We're identical twins. Okay? And anybody who's met my brother looks at him and go, yeah, he's really like you. And then after five minutes you go, yeah, he's completely different from you. Okay? Both can be true at the same time. And just because we're both called Langley doesn't mean we're the same. We are very, very different. Well, this is the same. Just because they can be called Teikubi Makio Toshiuke doesn't mean that they're the same. They are very different. But the important nuance of it, the important theme of it, the verbs of those, those th uh, words, uh, so those names, which is, which is wrap, suppress, receive, those are the important elements. And that should be part of it. But the form, the shape, the application are very different. Understand? Any questions? Yeah, yeah Susan. It's amazing because we don't know Japanese. We lost the sense of many techniques. Yeah. So this is, this is, this is a big issue, right? Because in Japan, you're not taught Teikubi Makio Toshi Uke. You're taught to use your wrist to wrap, suppress, and receive. You know, and so that's instinctive. They, that's what they hear. They don't hear what we hear. And so it, it, it makes, we often wonder why, why Western karate is quite stiff. Well, literally the thinking is stiff. Oh, what's this? This is, this is Zenkutsdach, and we see a shape of Zenkutsdach. When actually the Japanese hear, I want you to be standing with your weight forward. That's to them what they hear when you say Zenkutsdach. Or, you know, what's, you know, like my classic is, you know, what's this? Well, this is Gakazuki. And, and so that stiff image, that stiff shape in your mind is what Gakazuki. But in, in Japan, what they hear is that you are thrusting in reverse to your stance. And that's very, very different. One is a verb. The Japanese hear verbs and we hear nouns. And so the Japanese have fluidity in their karate and, and, and Westerners tend to have kind of like stifled, stiff karate. And that's a thought process. And what's worse is then, is then people then become, you know, kind of uh, dogmatic in that. And they go, no, I, it says this. This written down here says this. Well, then it becomes even more stiff. Because now they have a doctrine to follow. And so everything becomes stiffer and stiffer and stiffer rather than fluid. And fluidity is, is what karate should be. Three verbs. One block, three verbs. Uh, you know, it should be very fluid. Okay? <laughs> Have a different origin to some of the other katas? No, no, there's a, there's a number of katas that were created by Aragaki, I think. Uh, Nijushio is one of them, Sochin. And, uh, yeah, my history is terrible with karate. That's what Google's for. But what an interesting thing, though, is an interesting thing is that it used to be called uh, Ni, uh, Niseishi, uh, and, uh, and Shi and Shichi, one means four and one means seven. And so there is kind of like a, well, not a conspiracy theory, but there is a, a, a kind of theory that Nijushichi um, Ho, Niseishichi, which means 27. So 27 is an important number. Uh, like we have 108, 54, 27. 108, so Hakuhachi Ho doesn't really apply to the, the number of steps within, within the kata, but it means 108 steps. Uh, Gochu Shi Ho. 54 steps, go to show, die show. Uh, these are really important numbers within uh, Buddhism. Yeah, the 108 mortal sins. Really super important number. And so you have 108, half of that 54, half of that 27. Uh, but like, uh, it's 24. So maybe, maybe that was what, one of the origins of the name. Uh, and it was just mis misunderstood. She and Shichi, so very close. One means four, one means seven, so. Okay. Thank you. Anything else, guys? No? Okay. Okay, feet together, hands on side. Lay. Oh,